The images of this devastation have been seen across the country. This bus and the line of cars abandoned behind it photographed and shared thousands of times. So it's hard to imagine that there are still people who live nearby who never knew they were in danger. Any movement in Megalia is noticed. With all the neighborhoods evacuated, the little things stick out, like smoke still coming from a chimney on Coulter Way. I didn't know. I didn't know anything. It's Henry Lucero's house. He's still here and hasn't had power since Thursday. No TV or internet to show him this. No cell service to get an emergency alert. Henry lives just five miles from Paradise and had no idea the town had been destroyed. That sounded really bad. And if I would have known, I would have took off right there. So he's taking off now, not a moment too soon. Firefighters are worried wind could carry flames to Megalia overnight. The 73-year-old doesn't have family he talks to, and he doesn't have a lot of stuff. I just myself and the dog. But they'll be safe and out of the way so firefighters won't have to worry. When you're in your homes, we're unable to fight fire because we go into what we call rescue mode. If you go up, the fire's up that way, so don't go that way. Henry is about to see what happened to his neighbors and understand just how close he was. The Butte County Sheriff's Department is doing welfare checks, so even if you live far away, you can call and have them check on your loved one. In Paradise, California, Katie Eastman, 9 News.